Story 16 of Uncle Wiggily's Travels. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Uncle Wiggily's Travels by Howard Roger Garris. Uncle Wiggily and the Water Lilies. Uncle Wiggily was hopping along through the woods one day, and pretty soon, as he went past a cute little house made out of corn cobs, he heard someone calling to him. "'Oh, Mr. Rabbit,' a voice said, "'have you seen anything of my little girl?' And there stood a nice mama cat, looking anxiously about. "'I don't know,' answered Uncle Wiggily, as he stopped in the shade of a tree and set down his valise. "'Was your little girl named Sarah, Mrs. Cat?' "'Oh, indeed, my little girl is not named Sarah,' said Mrs. Cat. "'She is called Snowball, and she is just as cute as she can be. "'She is all white like a ball of snow, and so we call her Snowball. "'But she is lost, and I'm afraid I'll never find her again.' "'And the kitty's mamma began to cry, and she wiped her tears on her apron.' Oh, don't worry. Never mind. I'll find her for you, said the kind old gentleman rabbit. I can't find my fortune, but I believe I can find Snowball. Now tell me which way she went away, and I'll go search for her. I didn't see her go out of the house, said Mrs. Cat, because I was making a cherry pie, and I was very busy. Snowball was playing on the floor with a ball of soft yarn, and it rolled out of doors. She raced out after it, and I thought she would soon be back. I put the cherry pie in the oven, and then when I went to look for her, she was gone. Oh, dear, I just know some horrid dog has hurt her. Please don't worry, said Uncle Wiggily. I'll find her for you. I'll start right off, and if I can't find her, I'll get a policeman, and he can, for the police always find lost children. So Uncle Wiggily started off, leaving his valise with Mrs. Cat, but taking his crutch with him, for he thought he might need it to beat off any bad dogs if they chased after Snowball. First the old gentleman rabbit looked carefully all along the road, but he couldn't see anything of the lost pussycat. Perhaps she may be up a tree, he said to himself. If a dog chased her, she would climb up one, and perhaps she is afraid to come down. So he looked up into all the trees and he even shook some of them in order to see up them better but he did not discover the pussycat then he called snowball 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 where are you but there was no answer oh if there was only some bird who could call snowball i would get them to call the lost pussy thought uncle wiggily then he looked up and saw a big blackbird sitting on a tree. "'Can you call Snowball for me?' asked the rabbit politely. "'She is lost, and her mamma wants her very much. "'Just call Snowball as loudly as you can.' "'I can't,' said the big blackbird. "'All I can cry is, "'Call, call, call. "'I am a crow, you see.' "'That is too bad,' said the rabbit. "'Then I will have to keep on searching by myself.' So he did, and the crow flew away to look for a cornfield that had no scarecrow in it to frighten him. Well, Uncle Wiggily looked in all the places he could think of, but still there was no pussy to be seen, and he was just thinking he had better go for a policeman. But he thought he would try just one more place, so he looked down a hollow stump, but Snowball was not there. "'I'll have to get a policeman after all,' said the rabbit. So he told the policeman cat about the lost pussy, and the policeman cat searched for Snowball, but he couldn't find her either. I guess she is gone, said the policeman. You had better go back and tell her mamma that she hasn't any little pussy girl any more. Oh, how sad it will be to do that, cried Uncle Wiggily. I just can't bear to. But he started back to the corn cob house to tell Mrs. Cat that he couldn't find her Snowball and all the while he kept feeling more and more sad until he was almost ready to cry but i must be brave said the old gentleman rabbit 
and just then he came to a pond where a whole lot of beautiful white water lilies were growing oh they are a lovely flower with such a sweet spicy smell as soon as uncle wiggily saw them he said i'll pick some and take them home to mrs cat perhaps they will make her feel a little happy even if her snowball is gone forever so with his long crutch uncle wiggily pulled toward the shore some of the water lilies until he could pick them on their slender stems some of the flowers were wide open and some were closed like rosebuds he took both kinds home to mrs cat and when he told her he couldn't find snowball she was very sorrowful and she cried but she loved the flowers very much and put them in a bowl of water i'll stay here to-night said the rabbit and in the morning i'll look for snowball again i'm sure i'll find her oh you are very kind said mrs cat as she wiped away her tears well the next morning uncle wiggily got up real early and the first thing he saw was the bowl of water lilies on the parlor table they had all closed up like buds in the night but in the sunlight they all opened again into beautiful flowers and would you believe me right in the middle of one of the flowers something white moved and wiggled then it gave a little mew and then uncle wiggily cried oh mrs cat come here quickly here is snowball she was asleep inside one of the water lilies and surely enough there was the little lost kitty just awakening in one of the flowers and she was exactly the color of it and oh how glad she was to see her mamma again and how her mamma did hug her how did you get in that flower asked uncle wiggily oh when i went after my ball a big dog chased me said snowball so i jumped into one of the lilies and i fell asleep and the flower went shut and i stayed there but now i'm home and i'm glad of it and she just kissed uncle wiggily on the tip end of his nose that twinkled like a star on a frosty night so that's how snowball was lost and found and i'm going to tell you about uncle wiggily and the sunflower that is if the sunfish doesn't spread the butter too thick on the baby's bread with his tail and make her slide out of her high chair end of story 16 recording by sharon kilmer rio medina texas